Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's November 4th, 2022 and Barcelona have identified a new option for the right back position. Also, the club have reportedly chosen who will replace uh, Gerard Pique on the squad and Barcelona have announced today a new sponsorship deal. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and Barcelona will face off tomorrow against Almeria in La Liga at the Spotify Camp Now. Now the club have announced a list of players that have been called up for this match and those players are Marc Ter Stegen, Hector Bellerin, Gerard Piqué, Sergio Busquets, Osman Dembélé, Pedri, Robert Lewandowski, Ansu Fati, Ferran Torres, Andreas Christensen, Marcos Alonso, Jordi Alba, Frankie Dion, Rafinha, Eric Garcia, Iñaki Peña, Alejandro Valde, Marc Casado, Gavi, Pablo Torre, Shadir Yad, and Arnau Tenas. Now as you can see from this list, Andreas Christensen has been declared fit for tomorrow's match after missing a whole month from action due to an ankle injury that he picked up in the Champions League match against Inter Milan. Now, Eric Garcia has also been declared fit for tomorrow's match after suffering an injury last week in the match against Valencia. And even though it's expected that Jules Koundé would also be declared fit for tomorrow's match, unfortunately, the French defender has yet to be declared fit after he picked up an injury in the same match as Eric Garcia against Valencia. Now, tomorrow's match will be Gerard Piquet's last match at the Spotify Camp Now because as I reported in yesterday's video, the Catalan defender announced yesterday that he will be retiring from football. Now with this announcement, Gerard Piquet has fulfilled the promise that he made a while back where he said that he will walk away from the club once he felt that he, he's no longer important for the squad. And after several poor performances this season and after being relegated to the bench by Xabi, Gerard Piquet has decided to walk away from the club where he has spent more than 20 years of his life and where he has won uh, 30 trophies with the club and where he has become the fifth player with the most appearances in the history of the club with 650 matches. Now it's reported that after the poor performance against Inter Milan in the Champions League that that's when Gerard Piquet decided that he wanted to retire from football and he spoke with uh, Joan Laporta and informed him of his decision to retire not only from Barcelona but from football in general because Gerard Piquet did not want to play for any other team that is not Barcelona. Now even though the time for Gerard Piquet to retire has come, it's definitely a sad announcement for all Barcelona fans because Gerard Piquet is a Barcelona legend and he's one of the best center backs in the history of the club. And with this announcement, it also marks an end of an era to one of the best teams in the history of football that was composed of the likes of Xavi Hernandez, Andres Iniesta, Lionel Messi, Gerard Piquet, and of course, Sergio Busquets, who will also be leaving the club at the end of the season. Now an interesting coincidence is that when Carlos Puyol retired he played his last match against Almeria as well where Barcelona won that match so hopefully history will repeat itself tomorrow and Barcelona will defeat Almeria at the Spotify Camp now in what will be Gerard Piquet's farewell match. Now Barcelona currently owes Gerard Piquet 80 million euros in deferred salary and bonuses uh, and bonuses and it's reported that the player has decided to forgive 50 million euros and that he initially wanted to forgive the entire 80 million euros but the club insisted on paying him as a thank you for everything that Gerard Piquet has done for the club. Now with the departure of Gerard Piquet from the club a big space on the wage bill will be cleared that will allow Barcelona to make several signings in the winter transfer market. Now as we've been discussing in these previous few videos Barcelona's aim is to sign a pivot to replace Sergio Busquets and also to sign a player for the right back position but given how much space will be clear on the wage bill with the departure of Gerard Piquet. It's rumored that Barcelona will be able to make a big signing, a signing of caliber of, of a player such as Bernardo Silva. Now in regards to the pivot position as I've been discussing in these past few videos, Barcelona have elected to sign Jorginho whose contract will expire with Chelsea in the summer of 2023 which will allow the Italian Brazilian midfielder to arrive in Barcelona as a free agent. Now in regards to the right back position it's reported that Barcelona have identified a new option as a possible signing and that new option is Arnau Martinez. Now Arnau Martinez is a 19 year old defender who currently plays for Girona and he can play both as a central uh, defender and as a right back as well. 
Now Arnau Martinez is a player that came up through the Barcelona Youth Academy. So he's someone that's very familiar with the Barcelona style of play. And he's also said many times in the past that, it is, that it's his dream to come back to Barcelona and play on the first team. Now it's reported that Girona will be willing to part with the player for around 15 to 20 million euros. So this operation will be very feasible for Barcelona given the low price and given the willingness of the player to come back to the club. Now speaking of the right back position, another option that Barcelona have been contemplating is the Portuguese right back Diogo Dalot. Now Diogo Dalot's contract with Manchester United will expire in the summer of 2023 and there has been a lot of talks about whether the player is going to extend his contract with the Premier League club or whether he's going to end up in a different club. Now uh, Manchester United's coach Eric Ten Hag uh, made some statements yesterday where he said that, that the club are looking for reinforcement for the right back position and these statements have uh, linked Diogo Dalo once again with a possible arrival in Barcelona. So we're going to have to see whether Diego Dalo does end up deciding on renewing his contract with Manchester United or going somewhere else and whether that somewhere else will be Barcelona. Now on to the news that Barcelona have reportedly decided which player will replace Gerard Piqué on the squad and that player is Inigo Martinez. Now as I've discussed in the summer, Inigo Martinez's contract with Athletic Club will expire in the summer of 2023 and it's reported that the defender does not want to renew his contract with Athletic Club. Now as a result, Barcelona have reportedly have a deal with Inigo Martinez in place where he has agreed to arrive in Barcelona as a free agent in the summer and it's also being reported that Barcelona could consider bringing uh, Inigo Martinez in the winter transfer market before his contract expire as long as Xavi decides that there is a need to bring another center back and as long as Athletic Club are willing to negotiate a good price for the player because uh, Barcelona attempted to sign Inigo Martinez this past summer and Athletic Club were not willing uh, to negotiate a lower price and they were asking for a lot of money so if that so if that happens in the winter transfer market then Barcelona will wait until next summer when Inigo Martinez will arrive for free. Now Gerard Piquet's departure will not only clear space on the wage bill but it will also leave a captain spot open and it's reported that Barcelona are considering electing Mark Ter Stegen as the team's fourth captain. Now I think this is great news because Ter Stegen has been with the club for quite some time. He's always shown his leadership skills on and off the field and he's a player that works very hard and is also always does his best for the team. But I would love to hear from you who do you think should be Barcelona's for a captain so make sure to drop a comment down below. Now Gerard Piquet trained for the last time at the Spotify Cup now ahead of tomorrow's match and several members of the board of directors including the president John Laporta were seen on the side of the pitch talking to the player and while they were there they took the opportunity to announce Barcelona's newest sponsor. Now the club have signed a new sponsorship deal with the gluten-free food maker ZENB and this sponsorship deal is for four years until 2026 and uh, then will be Barcelona sponsor in key markets such as Japan, the UK and the United States of America. Now, this is great news for the club as they continue to do a good job in seeking new sponsorship deals which are in essence um sources of income for the club and this will go a long way in helping Barcelona recover financially. Now on to the news that Rafinha has hired a company called Global Performance in order to enhance his mental and his physical performance. Now Global Performance is a company that provides athletes with cooks, nutritionists, psychologists and trainers in order to enhance their physical and their mental performance and Rafinha has engaged the services of this company because he wants to increase his performance in Barcelona and he wants to earn a spot on the first team and this is great news to hear because this is the kind of attitude that separates winners from the rest because any player could have uh, could have given up after not being able to earn a spot on the first team but Rafinha has decided to continue fighting and continue improving himself so he can earn a spot on Xabi's team. Now we will end today's video with three brief updates the first one is that Memphis Depay has addressed the rumors that he was uh, intentionally taking his time with his injury because he wants to arrive healthy at the World Cup and Memphis Depay has denied these rumors and he has called them disrespectful to his career. Now the second update is that Barcelona are very close from taking PSG's crown jewel Elias Husni. Now Elias Husni is a 17 year old center forward and he is considered the crown jewel of PSG's youth academy and it's reported that Barcelona are very close to signing him and this has not sat well with the Parisian club. Now the third and final update is that Barcelona have completely revamped the men's locker room at the Spotify Camp Now and the club have revealed today the locker room to the players for the first time and they have also published pictures on their social media accounts. 
So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Biscarsa.